What's up guys, Gims here and welcome back to Pro Summer 2022 for episode number 5. 4. For a certain episode of the Severo Career Mode. Thank you for the support on the previous episodes. Today is the first episode, or the final episode, sorry, before the Grand Tours. We're gonna have the Amstel, La Flèche, Pierre Bastogniège, and our national tour, the Almighty Tour de Romandie. Um, I mean, I used, it used to be my national tour, but I guess it isn't anymore. And now we're gonna rep the Tour of Utah. But, um, yeah. I've been humbled a lot in the previous episode. Um, enough so that I don't feel confident anymore about my chances of winning either of the Ardennes. So I'm gonna rely on good variants, hopefully, because I haven't tweaked anything so far in this save when it comes to the races. And hopefully we can win. And the still has begun. Uh, it is a plus five for Mauro Schmidt, a plus four for Matthew Jorgensen. What variant is this? Ah, it's an okay variant. Um, something really sad has happened. Something genuinely tragic. And I'm gonna show you right now. It's, uh, it's Michael Woods. Uh, he's taken a minus three in mountain and a minus two in hills. That's why I gave him zero as a motive. I was hoping that uh, he wouldn't die by then. I guess I was wrong. Because a minus three and a minus two just weakens his uh, chances at winning the zero even more. And 65 time trot as well, which is not going to help. Uh, the peloton did something I didn't expect. Um, like, I know sometimes there's some accelerations around here, but usually they're accelerations, yeah? Not attacks with a minute and a half. That's, that's unheard of. Uh, and I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. Like, like not at all right now. I, I have to bridge them. I have to bridge them when the, uh, the Koyten bag. We're not gonna come back on this group, because I think this little hilly, like, well, the, the way the road goes back up, or actually, no, it goes back down. We're gonna lose, yeah, we're gonna lose time on this one. Um, uh, I'll swap your Gensen for Knolsi. Uh, I don't know what to do at this point. It's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. The gap is 35 seconds. Like, they're, they're basically right there. We're gonna have one more cowbug. Where we're gonna get, obviously, dropped again. Come on, Mauro. Come on, my brother. Come on, son. 40 seconds. More attacks up front. McNaughty's gonna take the lead here. It's Bernal solo on his own. Solo on his own, yeah, that's a nice one, Gim. Alright, come on, Brandon, I need you to come back, mate. I don't know if we're gonna do it. don't know if we're gonna do it, because Mikel Frolichonori has attacks ahead. Mikel, why would you attack? Like, please let me be, I swear to God. 30 seconds. Alright, let me try to attack to bridge. Because they've slowed down a bit. Frolichonore, I swear to God. Who's this? Marco Brenner. Alright, we're gonna bridge. We've, we've managed to somehow not lose already. We're gonna try and follow you the shelling because we're already on a... Well, on our attack, I guess. Not sure how, I'm gonna, how long I can follow. Probably not enough. Ah, uh, just enough, actually. Alright, group of nine, then. Group of nine. Shelling goes again. I don't have the capacity for that. I just... I just don't. <laughs> that's, uh, that's interesting. 3.5k, I'm gonna recover energy. There's no corners. Ah, shit. There's no corners. Uh... Shit, there were corners and they've just launched. I'm fucked. I've just lost. Yep, I've just lost. Oh, fuck sake, Guillaume. I had one singular job. Mathieu Van der Poel, Ida Schelling, and Mathieu Jorgensen for P3. <laughs> fuck! Alright, well, we're gonna start off with Um, I think last year I lost it. I think the year before that I didn't do it, because I knew I was gonna lose it. Um, this year is no different. Despite having a great lineup, you could have me play on easy and I would lose. Is that an iPhone? Alright, question. I just got an iPhone. How do you put, like, no sound, just like the, the vibrate, vibration for, like, the... Like, uh, how do you do that? Because I can't find it. It's either I'm in Do Not Disturb and there's nothing, or I've got sound. I want the in-between, right? I want, like, the a vibrant mode. Not vibrant, but... Uh, what's it called? 
Yeah, vibrate. That one. Uh, so, help me out, please. Thank you. Well, this edition of La Flèche Wallonne makes no, no sense, because... Um, I keep getting dropped. I feel like that's more of a, of a skill issue right now, rather than a game issue, but... Uh, I'm obviously gonna have to blame the game. Uh, but yeah, Brunwick Nolte has managed to stay the front the entire day, but someone like Michael Woods keeps getting dropped. Like, just genuinely just keeps getting dropped despite pacing 79 or 80. He just never manages to get at the front just like Brian McNulty does, or like Matteo Jorgensen at times. Um, but we've got the other week twice, and uh, I'm not confident. It's a shame because I really wanted to go for Michael Woods today. No, I think he had like the best stats of my team. I really wanted to go for him, but I guess it's not gonna happen. He can't, look, he's attacked and he can't even bridge the group ahead. <laughs> uh, he's actually washed. No, he's actually finished. I'm very sad for Michael. It's not the send-off I would've wanted to give him. I, you know what? If you remember early season, like my, my main season objective, apparently according to my sponsor, not my OC, but the sponsor, is a mountain leader on the Giro. I think Michael Woods may just have to, to revert to that instead. Big attacks, big attacks, Frolich Honoré, Schilling. Uh, it's the same orders that pissed me off on the Amstel. Uh, I guess they took the same train as I did, same bus, uh, to, to go to, um, to La Flèche Wallon. Is there a bus that goes from, uh, from Valkenburg to Liège? I, I don't know, there probably is, like a good old flex box. Okay, I'm gonna try something that did not work out yet last year, but it's my only way of doing something, I think. Nah, Sabino, because uh, Gorka is a guerrier there. Okay, well, I can't attack now, now can I? Let's take a bit of a breather. Actually, no, let's not, because good old Mark Hirschi and Joe Almeida have decided otherwise, let's follow the shedding. Try to lose as little energy as possible, yeah? 5k to go. We're in a good wheel. When the wheel of the shedding yeah, is quite, 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 quite good. Uh. Is anyone attacking yet? I don't think anyone's attacking, right? No, no one's attacking. Okay, let's protect Brandon with Matteo Jorgensen. And let's lose. Let's just... Let's just proceed to lose, yeah? Alright, 95 rhythm. And that is it. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck you're meant to do this. Like, I don't understand. Because I'm going to launch my sprint now. On the flatter portion. And be able to jump on the apple, but that's it. I don't, I, I do, I'll never understand this fucking race. I know that even had I sprinted at the same time as the Shining, I would have died either way. It's our last chance to win a monument before Lombardia. Um, I was so gassed at the start of the campaign, of the, um, yeah, the, the classic season. Winning San Remo, winning the Omloop. Things were looking up for me. Yeah. Feels like a very long time ago. Um, I mean, I guess in a way, it's good. It gives me a challenge, because had, uh, had I stuck on like extreme difficulty, probably would have won at least 60% of the races. I won like 0.1% of the races right now. Um, but yeah, we've got good race days. Michael Woods is peaking for the Giro. But McNulty is there, if needed, and needed he will be. Alright, come on. I'm gonna be confident one more time. We're gonna start La Côte de la Redoute. Um We've got McNulty and Michael Woods on decent levels of energy. Hugo and Martin Jorgensen have switched to uh, protect the um, the two leaders. Our two, uh, I would say our two Canadians, but no, one's Canadian, one's not. Uh, acceleration of Reggie, De Martinez, Ida Schelling. Him again! Wait, is it a hollow? Is it on course to do the hat trick? Did he, wait, did he win? Did he win Jamstead or was that Matthew Vanderpool? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I can't remember. God, my brain is fucked. That was like 10 minutes ago. We came back on Schelling, but he attacks immediately in the Côte des Forges. Okay, it's fine. Brandon's still doing alright. Michael Woods, yet again, just losing positions constantly. I don't really get why. It's the final climb. La Côte de la Roche au Faucon is coming up in one kilometer. Brandon is going to take the lead of this peloton. Matthew Jorgensen just ahead of him. Michael Woods hopefully in his wheel. Uh, we're going to go for McNulty today. 
we're gonna go for McNulty today uh, for a lot of reasons, mostly him being the better rider today, and also being the better in sprint and the better in downhill. Sorry, the best in downhill compared to Michael Woods. So, yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're going for the uh, American champion today. More attacks again, Bernal. I can't let these guys go. Very good job. Remarkable work by Michael Woods here. I was say I'm expecting more attacks, and here they are. Egan Bernal, Tadej Pogacar, Juan Ayuso. This is nearly like a Grand Tour. Michael Woods jumping in with Bernal, but he can't follow. Ah! Are we going to let Tadej Pogacar win like this? Surely not. Surely not. Tell you what, we may do. I'm going to attack with Ben McNulty to try and just come back on Tadej. Come on, son. He's not far off, he's not far off, he's right there. There we go, perfect. Stay with of Tadej now. And let's chill the fuck out. No one ahead attacks, that's good. Right, I'm gonna have Michael Woods come back as well, which is good. I'm gonna use the gel on Michael and on Brandon. I'm gonna pace with Michael so that he can have Brandon nab his wheel. Look at this. Look at this top tier play. This right there, that's that's prime gaming. You've, ne you've never seen this kind of gaming before. Tadej Pogacar attacking once again for some odd ass reason. I don't get it. There goes Michael Woods. And there goes Brandon McNulty. Come on, son. He's not the better positioned. Come on, Ali. It's close. But I, fuck it. I, th I think again Bernal has it. I think again Bernal has it. Yeah, he definitely has it. Fuck! We do the Tour de Romandie, uh, which used to be uh, one of my key objectives. No, it isn't anymore. Um, and we've taken a look at the profile. There is the almighty climb of Tion 2000, uh, which I despise. So, I didn't put anyone in Alton. I'm just here to win the time trial, maybe get a couple stages um, throughout the race. But I think there's two time trials, so that's, yeah, that, that's why I've got both Bessega and Stefan Kung. Also, they're Swiss, so it would have made sense. Uh, we do have Mason Ray, our UAE Tour hero. And by hero, I mean he was the best rider in my team on the time trial. Uh, stats, stats, definitely something massive. Across the line for Mason. Fourth place, five seconds. Behind Fred Wright gets in. Stefan Bessega about to start his prologue as well. Um, Ethan Nata is currently leading ahead of Alexei Lutsenko and Yves Lampart. Uh, they're both in the same seconds. So I don't know who's going to end up winning. Uh, it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be Matthias Schielmoza, who's already 13 seconds down. Uh, we're getting through the rhythm with, uh, with Stefan. But yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a decent-ish day for Stefan, plus one. He's got 88 fitness right now, so I don't really expect him to do anything out of the ordinary. Um, but we'll see, you never know. Stefan Kung is by far the superior Stefan, both on this race and I think this season so far. That's just the, the, the way it went. Stefan Kung has just been better, and across the line for Stefan Bessega, it is P6, 5 seconds behind Ethan Eta, who did not have a mechanical for once. Oh, it's a good day for Stefan as well. It's a good day for Mr. King. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's fucking have it. So what, Ethan has held on for a long time. And, I mean, he now rides for William S. Martin, so it would piss me off if I were to beat him. But obviously, you know, I have to. Because that's, that's just the way I operate. Because uh, I never lose, as seen in this episode. Um, but across the line, for Stefan King. Yeah, five seconds quicker than Ethan Ata. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm covering the there. No, not him. Ah, right, come on, slap me 23 seconds. Oh, he's behind me, huh? <laughs> you, you suck. What about Wout van Aert? Um, I don't think he's had a great classic campaign. And he's got a terrible time trial. Stefan Kung wins the opening stage. Oh, Romandie gets in. And we've had a crash in uh, this second stage between Egl and Egl, I think. Egl and Martini, sorry. And it is Remco Venable, who is out of the Tour de Romandie. Uh, yeah, he's not going to be happy with that one. He was um, going for the Giro as well, according to uh, to his schedule. I have no idea. I'm completely ma making that up. Uh, but had he been going for the Giro, well, he's not anymore because Switzerland was the last hurdle for the Belgian. We've got two more hills. This is the parkour of the World Championships um, a couple of years ago. We have the uh, Col de la Petite Forcla coming up twice. It is a difficult climb. Stefan Kung is not having the best of days, he's only got a plus one, but I, I somehow believe in him. I think, I think GC Kung is well and truly alive, at least for this stage. 
Juan Moncroa, j'en ai Jan Christen pour nous, Yves Lampard, Scratch as well. Um, I've also seen Jakub Mareshko crashing. Uh, it's a great to know that Jakub Mareshko is now a cyclist for Quickstep. Uh, probably the only one that did not become a god after joining the Wolfpack. No breakaway anymore, one more climb, 22k to go. There'll be some attacks, the likes of, uh, of Carapaz, I don't know if he's, um, he usually is. He's not, uh, and Remco's not gonna attack because he's not there anymore, but you can expect someone like Vlasov, Kelderman, um, the new one that's able to climb. Is there any good climber on this race? Buitrago, I guess, Schielmose. Yeah, you can expect this lot to attack. Strong rhythm from um, Jasper Philipson? Hello. <laughs> no. Hold up. Wait. What do you mean, Jasper Philipson? In which. In which world? I, I don't remember him being able to do that. Okay, cool. Uh, it's gonna lead for a, a Quinton Ammons attack. Ethan Ater better do something. Okay, there he is. Because cause he's fucking Jasper Phillips and murdered himself for nothing. And we're gonna make the site with Stefan Kuhn. There is one rider ahead, that's Alex Lutsenko. Then we've got Michael Stara. But Stefan Kuhn has made it. 7k to go. We came back on uh, the breakaway. Sorry, the, the riders that had attack. Not really a breakaway, I guess. 6k and we have Quinton Emmons and Davide Formolo going for a, a lot of move. Where's Mason Ray? Mason, come try and, come try and help me. Come on. Uh, Nathan Priner is going to be able to lead for a, for a bit. Right-hander, cheeky right-hander. Alright, let's go. Mason Raid literally came back for nothing at the front of the peloton, but it's, uh, we, we love him. There goes Stefan Kung. I think it's a tad early. Caleb, you were there? Ah, not anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I thought. <laughs> there goes Besega. It's Besega against Lutsenko, and the peloton's going to come back. Ethan Eta, Ethan Eta. Boy von Art, Boy von Art, Boy von Art. Boy von Art or Besega? It's Spain, uh, Spain? Sorry, it's Switzerland against the world champion, the European champion. God, I'm terrible with flags today. Ah, and it is Stefan Bessega that claims it in Martini. That's the second win for us on this Romandie. Two stages for two Stefans. Gets in. Yeah, this stage hasn't really gone to plan, if I'm being honest. Um, mostly for the fact that all of my teammates are dropped. That's, that's like the biggest issue so far. It's, it, it really is that Stefan is on his own. Besaga didn't make it, Pruner didn't make it, Mason Ray didn't make it, that's that's definitely on me, because uh, he had the legs. James Piccoli didn't make it, and that's that's on him. That's definitely on him. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, two more climbs, Le Pontin and Le Mont Soleil. Uh, bit of an outrageous claim to call this the Mount Sun. I mean, it, nah, I'm not even blinded by it. Uh, hopefully, Stefan Kung can uh, show why he's a stellar rider and thrive amongst the stars. Yeah, I'm gonna get dropped real quick at this rate. <laughs> hey, yo, Mate, do you mind, uh, you know, just slowing down? Yeah, thank you. Exactly what I wanted you to do. We're gonna start the Mont Soleil. Jesus Christ, brother, Mate, Mate. 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 I don't know why I'm like whispering to him, he's not gonna hear me. But please stop, thank you. Ah, uh, who this? Davide Formolo. Okay, but I mean, my, my challenge is quite simple. Uh, I need to stick with the majority of this group until the summit, and then we'll be fine. Uh, I don't know why I decided to pace at the back with Mason Ray and the others. Uh, vibes, mostly, I suppose. But yeah, so far so good for Stefan. So you are, I think GC Kung is well and truly alive. It's a shame that there's that uh, Tion de Mille stage, because otherwise Stefan could have done good things here. Uh, have I taken the wheel of the only one that died? That would just be my luck now, wouldn't it? Fuck's sake. One rider decided to collapse and is the one rider I've taken the wheel off. Sick. 5k to go. Let's use the gel. Take the wheel of uh, Gaganal, I guess. I don't know. He, he did attack like 53 times at this rate, so he's probably a bit, a bit tired than that. Maybe Lutsenko is the better wheel. Mm. Maybe I should go forward a little. Try to like better positioned. Uh, Buitrago, ah, he's a bit shit. I guess that has to do. Uh, tell you what, I think Lutsenko was the better wheel along. <laughs> should have stuck with Lutsenko. Yep, yeah, yeah, I should have. I should have. It's a win for Alex Lutsenko, who's going to take the lead as well of the race. 
I mean, I think Stefan can be happy with himself. Finishing in that group, it's quite the feat. We're reaching the tail end of the stage, uh, the only sprint stage uh, of this um, of this Tour de Randy between Estavayen and Estavayen. There's been one crash involving Michael Stara, who was, I believe, uh, top five this morning. I mean, he definitely was top five. I'm not sure where in the top five, but he was there. Uh, he was fifth, as a matter of fact. Uh, he's gone. He's now more than five minutes behind. So he will not partake in the GC battle. Maybe that's going to be good for Stefan Kung. A top 10 GC, like a final top 10 GC, could be on the cards, I think, for uh, for Stefan as he sprints now towards Estavayer. Ah, there's corners. Ah, aha. Well, Stefan Kung. Oh, no, Jasper. No, 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 William Smartini. No, you. It's another photo finish. And I've won again. Get in. Well, as it turns out, I was wrong. It wasn't Sion 2000, it was Sion. Uh, I thought it was Sion, but it wasn't. I, I don't know, I just badly read, I guess. I, I saw the letters O-N, Mountain State, and I got flashbacks. Um, Stefan could put it off here. Stefan could potentially, if he's fortunate, put it off. The supporting cast is quite average. Uh, I just feel like, like a... What's like a very good thing that has a shit supporting gas? I don't know, I'm not, I don't have enough knowledge in movies to make a reference. The only things I know are Marvel and they're all top tier. Uh, even though the latest one, I kind of clapped to but either way we move. I, I, I'm going to back Stefan today. I think I can afford to lose 35 seconds on the almighty Leander van Houtigum, which I've never heard of, but congratulations. And um, try to get that time back tomorrow on the time trial. Ah, uh, if GC Kung could actually pull it off, that would be lovely. Ah, uh, no, don't tell me they're not going to pace. No, 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 don't, don't start telling me they're like, Oh yeah, we're going to let the breakaway have like 55 minutes of elite, because <laughs> I don't care. Fuck you. I've been pacing the entire day. Uh, I did forget one key thing. Uh, water. In, in, uh, actually, I'll... Wait, no, 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 Stefan, Stefan, Hermano, Besega. Yeah, yeah. Don't get dropped. Or, or the other Stefan as well. As well? Why do I have to have a lift? Fuck me. Right, either way we move. I can't English, but uh, for some odd reason I can still PCM. Alright, James Bigotti can now get water for us. 6.15 is the gap for the breakaway. If I don't get any help from the peloton, I am gonna be quite angry. Alright, yes. Liquid gas. I like you. You're, you've, you've taken a book, uh, sorry, a page out of the Astana book and decided to pace. They never did. They never. That's good. That's progress for them. Um, Fabian Christen is still protecting Stefan Kung. I'll have Mason Ray protect Stefan Bessagar for the remaining of the stage. Or at least until Mason dies, which is going to be in about 1.8 kilometers. And if we get has completely stopped facing, um, the gap had gone down to 4 minutes. I, I, I can't pace. I cannot afford to pace. Actually, I can probably like just do a bit of a Bit of a 99 until the summit. I think Stefan will be fine by that. And in the downhill, we go. Well, the person really doesn't want to pace at all. Okay. 620, and we have 14 kilometers of mountain upon us. That start now. Bas Nordaz, that is the name of the climb. Okay. Okay. I need to play this the smartest way possible. I'm gonna do this entirely in time as one, which is something I never do as well, so... I, I'm, I'm really gonna try and pay attention. I don't want to lose this. Strong rhythm so far from the Uh we are, We're sailing at the end of the group so far. But I think it's not too bad. At least it allows me to really control my energy and know what I can and cannot do. Uh, no sudden accelerations and I should be fine. We've got a bit of a flatter portion as well here, which is really going to help me out. Gap is 350 with the breakaway. Wow. That is one hell of a rhythm from the peloton. Or does the peloton stop? B both options are viable. Alright, Stefan Bessega is no more. 5k to go, and we've got the first attacks by the leaders. Santiago Butrago, uh, Javier Fervelism. <sighs> Where's Stefan? He's alright, he's alright. He's next to uh, Ethan Ata and Leonard Van Houtigum. Fred Wright has been dropped, the world champion. The summit is in 3.8k. 
come on, Ali mon Stéphane. Oh, that's a, that's an acceleration and a half by uh, by Alexander Vlasov. But Stefan Kung manages to come on. He's still here. We're still here. I'll use the gel. I know I could use it in the final. I don't care, right? I think for me the finish is at the summit. For me the finish is in 1.8 kilometers. Even if I lose a few seconds, I reckon we can come back in a downhill portion right there. We're gonna have to let this group go. Hoping I can come back. Alright, the summit is right there. Does it go straight downhill? Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. We're not far. We're not far. And downhill we go. And Stefan Kuhn came back. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Let's go! I have no energy whatsoever. I'm gonna let this... This group better bait. Why are we letting Kellerman with Hagan Lutsenko go away? Why are we doing this? Everyone is together with 7k to go. Come on. Come on. Allez mon Stefan. This could be the biggest achievement of Stefan Kung in this co he did win Meryl in San Diego. He, he is a monument winner. I don't, I don't think winning Romandie is the biggest of, uh, of things he's achieved. Uh, let's try and jump in with Michael Stora. I don't want to let anyone go at this point. I'd rather follow everyone, even if I lose the judge. No, Michael Stora! Oh, you fucking cunt! Oh, I'm gonna lose. I've done everything right and I'm gonna lose because I followed someone from Peugeot Red Bull. Is that really my career plan? I'm so fucking pissed. Alright, Boutrago takes the stage ahead of Kelderman, that's really bad as well. Formolo, Gegenart, Lutsenko, Vevlesum. Oh, I had done everything right, man! Fuck! Oh, praise the lord, whatever. There's no gaps. We're gonna be second at the GC. We're not, we're third. Okay, we're still first. Come on, come on, I'm watching fan! Why am I actually gassed? It's a fucking Tour de Romandie! It's finally time for this time trial between Fribourg and Fribourg. Um, I've got a lot of riders already on the road. But Mason Ray is basically my first benchmark. He's the one that allows me to know what rhythm I should go for. Um, is it, is it, what, 14k, 15k? Yeah, 14 and a half. There's no real hill. I, actually, there's, a, there's two downhill, to be fair. I know that like if you want to be a professional PCM player, yes, that, that exists. Uh, you have to like micromanage everything and just change the rhythm in the corners, change the rhythm uphill, downhill. I'm not about that life, right? That's oh, can I get some slipstream of Fabio Kristen? A little bit of DRS here, please. Uh, but I'm just gonna see what it like. What I need to do for Stefan King. The gap, as I said, it's I think three seconds, three seconds on Kelderman, and six hundred Senko. It's not gonna be an easy task. I should be able to do it. But I'm, I'm quite prone to fail. Alright, Mason Ray is going to overtake Ann Kristen. Uh, I think I found the perfect rhythm, if I'm honest. Um, the question is whether that's perfect for Mason Ray or perfect also for Stefan Kung. Cross the line, that's D14 for Mason. 72 times, so I'll, I'll, I'll happily take that. Uh, but it's now for Stefan Bessega. It's time for Stefan Bessega. Not a great day for Stefan. Hopefully it works either. Not as good. Um, I guess the finish is going to be quite similar. I've, I've literally pushed him to the limit. He's got like one pixel of red. And across the line for Stefan Bessega. P4, 10 seconds down. Uh, that's quite alright. Fuck it, let's go. It's a good day for Stefan King. It's a good day for Stefan King. Uh, alright, just 99 to kick things off. Let's revert to, uh, to 87. I may micromanage him. <laughs> I said I wouldn't. I may try to micromanage. First in two minutes? Yes, first. A second ahead of Eduardo Afini. That's alright, that's alright. We've got a bit of, a, of an uphill false flat here. I'm gonna try and maintain this rhythm. Lutsenko is 8 seconds down, Kalman 10 seconds down. Alright, 2.5k to go. This is it. This is where we make it. Or we break it. And I'm Nearly gonna break it with Stefan Kung, but that's all right. Uh, where's where's Gellerman? Twenty five. All right, thirty one seconds down on Von Aert. Otherwise, we lose. Six seconds down. Second and nil on the second part of the time trial. But GC Kung lives on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get in, get in. Stefan Kung wins Romandie.
And he also brings home the points jersey. Uh, we don't bring the team, but that's fine. Tell you what, up until this moment, it was a very shit episode. Stefan Kuhn pulled out a masterclass. He now leads the world for rankings as well, despite having a mediocre classic season. And we've won our former national tour. Good. In the next episode, uh, we're going to revert to seven stages per episode regarding Grand Tours. Um, I know like I usually do 10, but I feel like it's way too fast paced, I can't cover enough, and the episodes are quite long. Um, although this one, to be fair, is like, there, there's not that much mountain in the first week. Okay, we may just do 10 stages for the first one, then we'll revert to 7 and 7. Uh, that doesn't math, that doesn't math. The maths aren't mathing. Either way, I'll find a way. Um, but yeah, the next time you'll see me, I'll be uh, drunk, probably. Or suntanned, or, or both, hopefully both. Um, but I'm going for a week holiday. Hopefully everything has been planned and uploaded on time. I, I hope. And yeah, enjoy the World Championships, because actually they've already been played. Well, enjoy a third win for Frost, and I'll see you very, very soon. My name is Guillaume. Have the most amazingest of days, and goodbye. Pass me the phone.